one of the most surprising scenes and cameos in Black Panther Wakanda Forever and most of the recent MCU products was the return of Eric Killmonger in the dream sequence that Shuri has. And now the writer of Black Panther Wakanda Forever explains this scene a little bit more. So I saw some people say that this scene didn't make sense because of it being Eric Killmonger. It should have been T'Challa, which, um, um, guys, let me take a second here. The actor that played T'Challa died. That's literally what the movie does as well is have him die. So they weren't going to CG him because that'd be disrespectful. And also the story and why she sees him literally makes sense. Because she's vengeful and after revenge. And she just wants to get vengeance. That's literally what Killmonger was after. So thematically, it actually makes sense that she saw him. Like, it actually works in that way. And they didn't have to do a CG T'Challa. But enough of that. Speaking with the Rolling Stone, the magazine that is. We had one of the writers of the film talk about it. And they say that they always knew that they wanted to have Michael return in some way, shape, or form in the sequel. They just didn't know how. And when the passing of Chadwick happened and they were going back to rewriting the scripts and coming up with ideas, they figured that naturally with what's happening with Shuri, how they're going about this, and what they're going to do, thematically this actually makes sense to make them show up in that sequence have the return there, and also have him inform Shuri on her decision. And he said that one of the things here was exploring the point of view from Killmonger and how he changed Wakanda, and how had he not been there, what different position would they be in? How different would everything be? And did he do the right thing, and could Shuri see what he was saying as an actual option that's viable? that he was maybe in the right from his point of view, and if she is in the same mindset as he was, then maybe anger was driving him. So again, thematically it all works, and you get it, right? It, it makes sense, and honestly, that's always, I think, what they were going to go with. If the story always centered on Shuri, once they started the rewrites and they figured, oh, she's the Black Panther, he could be the only character you would need. And he had to be the only one. You can't bring back T'Chaka. That doesn't make sense. But Killmonger makes sense. Because of her quest. And who she would see there. Just like when T'Challa went to the afterlife. He had a different vision. It's for the specific person. That's going through the experience. So that's what they were focusing on. And again, it makes sense. I understand why some people... Well, no, I don't understand why some people didn't get it. Because... He actually explains in the movie why he's there. You just gotta use your ears. <laughs>